Good morning, my brothers and sisters on this episode number 315 of the Good Morning Guys podcast. Thank you so much for joining us on this fine morning, afternoon, evening, or night as we are talking about the game of life amidst the other games we love to watch and to play. I am one of your hosts, the Brazilian Mountaineer and Transition Ninja, Lucas Ham Swisher. Also with me to my left, uh, the judge, jury, and executioner of fake news and spoilers, Patrick Novosel. I'm so glad to be here. I'm really glad to be here. Two weeks in a row. It's a, it's a record. Look at that. Yeah. It's a September <laughs> it's a record. Let's do this. <laughs> September 2024 record. Never been done before. Never, ever. Uh, also, not with us. Uh, not to my caddy corner and not to my bottom. Uh, there's the former final member of the GMG Quadfecta with music and guitar, Dr. Who on his brain, the locker red and his old stomach, Mark Boucher, dead. And there's also the newest final member of the GMG crew, the North Kakalakian, who's possibly unlikely to have already eaten, but we don't care. Our howdy, hey, hey, handyman, Hank McCoy, Dusty Krusty, dead man himself, Ryan Isley. <coughs> I mean, they got, they got, where <laughs> we just like a, a, a cough in his honor. <laughs> <laughs> they have reasons why they're not here this evening. I mean, like Please. they're I wouldn't say I wouldn't say they're they're dead. They're probably like on life support, just ready to pull All right. the plug. That's I fair. Mean, Do not resuscitate. I mean, who, you know, and and I don't know, you know, like the doctors say say that Ryan will wake up any minute now. So who knows? He could. He really, could. You know. But he, only if he wakes up on his own. We're not doing anything about it. <laughs> no, just throw water even if in we space. wanted to, we'd have no idea what to do about it. We'd just be like, <laughs> ah, clap on, clap off. What That's would make him want under. to get up and get out of the room? Whatever Destiny annoys him the two. most. No, yeah. oh. <laughs> breaking his Destiny Destiny 2 Ooh, disc yeah, in half. Ooh, yep. he would wake Wait, up. He has a disc. What year is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I'm I've gonna never break your digital game in half. Yeah. Uh, so it's you and me, Patrick. Fireside. I I kind yeah. of feel like we shouldn't call our time together fireside chat. More like a fireside giggle or a. No, uh, this is more of like a, a a couch with one blanket kind of chat. You know what I mean? Ooh, just, yeah. Yeah. Let's get snuggle with up. One blanket you know? chat. Snuggle. <laughs> a snuggle chat. All right. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. jump into this, shall we? We have some things to cover, such yeah. as uh factual life, religious life, game life, or. Real life, God life, what, fake whatever life, you want, or uh, truth life, uh, deity life, and uh, deity life, oh, yeah. Man. I don't think I've ever used that word. In- hey, oh, he did wow. wake up, Ryan did wake up. He heard us talking about Destiny 2, that's why. So glad we didn't pull the plug. All right, if y'all are oh, gonna God. just make fun of me, I can just leave. No, you won't leave. Get out of here. <laughs> if it were that easy, you would have been gone a long time ago. Shut your mouth. You're right. <laughs> yep. So welcome. I already introduced you, but you were dead. So okay, let me well, reintroduce I'm alive. you again. Yeah. Surprise. You were in a coma. He's alive. Yeah. You were in a coma. No, you didn't you didn't die. You were just in a coma. That's, you're good. Oh, okay. You know. No, yeah. but don't let Patrick lie. He said you were on life support, barely alive. Oh. Yes. Yeah. That's coma, right? I don't know. Isn't that a coma? Uh, I don't think Close that's enough. the same thing. Why not? Because you don't have to be plugged in in a coma. You're just like asleep. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a difference. Where is Mark when we need this fact? Oh, uh, right too here? bad. I guess it's only him facts. What Wee! is a coma? No, okay, don't say what is a coma. Guy. You're going starting oh, too broad. Okay. What's the difference what between a coma and life support? <laughs> what? <laughs> dang it. What is the difference? Oh, this is really do tigers dream. We have to listen to you. Type coma, what man, is life? the difference between my oh, typing geez. speed and everybody else's? I don't know. What's the difference with a, a coma is a metal. Mm, okay. I don't know. Uh, what is the difference between a coma and brain death? Um, that's mm, brain death. I've never heard of brain death. I didn't know life support uh, was brain death. That's sad. No, no. Um, okay. A coma is a medical emergency that involves prolonged loss of consciousness. Yes. While asleep. life, while, while life support is a medical intervention that uses machines or medications to keep someone alive when Thank their you. vital organs are failing. Ham fact. 
People in a coma are unable to move, feed, bathe this in themselves, and may need to go on a ventilator. So what does okay. the, what's the difference? What's they're the asleep. difference? But I still said they're asleep. The difference There's is a, difference. A, ventil a ventilator is a machine, right? Yes. But they don't have to be. I, uh, they can inject know. stuff into them. They can they can give them a colostomy bag and switch stuff out. They're still going to naturally like pee their pants and stuff. So they don't have to be on a machine. There are people that have survived from comas yeah. without machines. So what? Just when you just sleep for twelve hours, that's a coma. Or when when does it become uh, a coma? See, no, it has to be more than twelve hours. I would what, say okay. I'm going to pull up the number. But what what uh, right. what number do you think? Is it? Do you think? You see, is it based on the amount of time you've been asleep? It's like, oh, we've slipped into the coma section of this sleep time. I would say it would need to be twenty four to forty hours at least. I don't know. I don't know what it says. It's is there just... a world? What's the world? Okay, let's go down another. What's the world record of people no. who have slept? Like, what's the longest someone's ever slept that's not a coma? Like, they're just like, I'm going to take a nap. And then they wake up a year later. They're like, dang, that was a good nap. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It says uh, you have to have uh, a, a score of eight or less on the Glasgow coma scale. How can you take a test while you're in for a at coma? least six <laughs> hours? Like, okay, yeah, take this little... test. Oh, no response. They didn't pass. They are unable to be woken up. Sounds like just every night for me. I don't. Even, just. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I know we're not very far removed from being doctors now. Now that we're <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Here's, we know, now here's just finished cap. our first year of med bought, school. Congratulations. I bought my cap and gown. I'm ready. Yep. Da, 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 <laughs> we did it, guys. Good job. We and graduated first year of medical school. Seven minutes. <laughs> Great job. What is coma? <laughs> okay. That's what you put when you're taking a breath in a sentence. That's where it is. Put that little <laughs> coma there. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Coma. No, 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 no. Semi coma. No, 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 no. Since <laughs> Mark's not here, I'll say it for him. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since Mark's not here, let's let him decide who goes first to share their update. Okay. How long are we going to wait? How long you got? Uh, I only have like an hour and a half, maybe. How about this? So... We're going to do updates differently. If we you share what your update is, if we don't like it, we're gonna buzz you, and then it's like <laughs> cool. Crap! <laughs> I'll go first. I have nothing important. <laughs> I will go first. All right, go ahead. I played Destiny Two this week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Get out of here. <laughs> you did. You played Destiny Poo, is what you played. <laughs> Uh, Destiny Poo. I did Burr. the new exotic mission. That was about it. Ooh, Why are yeah. you still talking about this? Move <laughs> on. Gosh. Did you I don't have anything else buzz? to move on it's to. It's your turn, Patrick. It. Go. <laughs> say something better. You could say, I watch paint dry and you win. Uh, I did not watch paint dry. <laughs> We're not talking to you, Ryan. You're buzzed. <laughs> We're going to have an episode uh, where there's like, it's like some mixture between improv and a real episode. Just okay. randomness. But mm. not. Hey, we have we have a um, a question from the joiners. Are we doing that now, or do we want to wait until we oh, get poop. to the end of the end of the let's show? Do, or... Let's fix it up. Let's do a joiner. Should we question. do it now? Yeah. yeah, I like that. Hold on. We should probably, you know, cue it up. Text the dead man and let nah, him know that we're... I can, <laughs> I'll bring it up on my phone. Ah, it's okay. We can read it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's under it's under GMG mailbag or is it under? Uh, it's under oh, GMG yeah. mailbag. Yeah, it's yeah. GMG it's gotta mailbag. be. All right, yeah. all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Oh, I forgot. To, I was supposed to talk about this with Mindy, and I forgot. I like to bounce ideas, and she helps me think. Right. We can do part two next week with her picks. Yeah. Uh, where is it? I can't see it. My words. Uh, are it was right after. There it is. Lukewarm riffles response. Yes. Princess Jacobs <laughs> sent in this uh, <laughs> mailbag question oh, randomly. Man. I appreciate that about you, Jacobs. We didn't ask for it, but you gave it. Uh, yeah. Don't try to take credit, Ryan. I'll buzz you. I did ask him to ask. You. Oh, stay, <laughs> stay humble. Stay humble. Yeah. Golly. Right. Well, I'll it, just can sit we over make here it not about you go. for a second or Destiny 2? 
All right. What would you say are the top three movies that came out the year you were born? Mm. All right. Mm. Who? Uh, let's start with you, Lucas. You were born er- the, er- the early 1981 or 82? 82. Yeah. Hold on. I got to. I gotta bring up my movie list. I actually man, I was looking at all these, and it was like movies were in the theater for like two years. Uh, that is correct. Yeah, Home Alone <laughs> was in eighty. Was in I think ninety and ninety one. Home Alone was the number three top grossing movie both years. <laughs> it's like how it was in the theaters. I guess my guess is it made a bunch of money Christmas, like it came out in November December, made yeah. a bunch of money. Well, and I think then, I think and then it e. kept going January February March. E.T. came out in like 1983 and I was looking at the box office and it was like it was in the box office every week for the entire year and into 1984. I'm like, OK, I'm not, I'm not yeah. I don't even know when this movie came out. Well, yeah, I, E.T.'s in 1982 for me. So in my list. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. For 1982, I'm going to skip the the garbage. OK. Um, We got. uh. I probably should have watched this back in the day, but I didn't. Airplane 2. Did you guys see that one? Oh, Airplane. Airplane 1 is airplane, a classic. Airplane 2? Oh, I, I don't remember airplane that one. Two. I don't remember 2. No. No. Uh, but come on. This has got to be a front runner. Rocky 3. Mm-hmm. Yep. Rocky 3 is yeah. solid. That's is that number Clubber two? Lane, right? What, what are we doing? Now? Are you just three. ranking them or just talking? No, about no, them? no. Right now, I just got to bring up what they are. Uh, E.T. is okay. I'm not like... Mm-hmm. I'm not a I'm not a stand no. for ET. Well, it's, didn't he say what is it to you? Like not I mean, the yeah not the, yeah 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 right. This person. The thing is with ET, like, came out the ET, right? Yeah, for they were aliens. They had the ability to fly everywhere, but they did not have like an advanced enough race to have like call collect or cell phones that like why couldn't they just hit like pound, you know, twelve and be able to dial anywhere they want in the universe because. It's a advanced race of aliens. You know what I mean? Mm. He made it out of like a saw blade, and he should have had stuff already taken care of. Um, first blood. I don't remember that movie. I'll be honest. Rambo. Yeah, Rambo. First okay. blood. I Rainbow. Don't... Yeah, Rainbow. First blood. Uh, there's <laughs> Tron. Tron was fine, but Ooh, Tron, yeah. Tron Legacy was better. Oh man! Well, Tr- Tron Legacy was better because Tron One happened. That's true. <laughs> like it had to have. Like it would. It wouldn't have been as good. Yeah. If it, yeah. What about this one? The World According to Garp. No. What? I have no idea what that means. What? What are you doing? Did you do any research? No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, there's Conan the Barbarian. That's a fun movie. Yes, it is. Uh, there is the secret of Nim. Stop, just stop. And there's oh, I'm, I'm Greece, buzzing you. Grease two trash. Oh, yes, yes. The better of the greases. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, Grease two. <laughs> yeah, Grease Some two. sequels are forgotten about. <laughs> yeah. Man, I have to say, I'm not impressed with. Uh, I'm going to have to just go with this. I'm going to go with... So there is Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, but I was not a big Star Trek fan back in the day as more as a Star yeah. Wars guy. Uh, I'm just going to go with Rocky Three, E.T. Wait. Did you say Rocky Three? I uh, said that uh, five minutes ago. Thanks for listening. They came out in 82? That's what it says. What? Is that, it's is that on wrong? my list for 88. <laughs> yeah, that sounds more like it. <laughs> okay i'm Hold so on. confused <laughs> google google apparently is messing with me nope um, uh rocky 3 came out in may 28th 1982 why is it on here for 88 were you searching on uh, bing no i'm doing <laughs> imbd mozilla mozilla internet explorer all right i'm gonna go to the more accurate that's uh, Wiki- wikipedia yeah, so far it's given me. Oh my gosh, it's given me trash movies I've never heard of. I'm gonna go with Rocky Three, E.T., and Tron. Those are gonna be my. Those are gonna be my 1982 movies. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, That's what I'm okay. gonna go with? How about Blade Runner? Do you know no Blade Runner for you? 
1982. Uh, that didn't show up on. Was that 1982? Yeah, yeah. That that didn't show up on mine. All right, <laughs> Blade Runner will replace Tron. Uh, I still ET still holds a special place in my heart as a kid. I loved uh, Reese's Pieces because of ET. Oh, Poltergeist came out in 1982. Did yes. it? Yes. Yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. A, no. What a. Mm-hmm. Carol um, Ann. I'm out. Carol Ann. Nope. uh all right all right all right so then uh i am next and i'm gonna make it a little bit easier because uh there weren't a lot of a lot of good movies that came out in 1985 what are you 85 Um, 83 oh you're 80 you're only that's right you're only one yeah yeah yeah. so um number three star wars return of the jedi uh lucky three yeah um number two i don't know if anyone's seen this one but it's christine it's the movie where the car comes alive. It's also oh the, yes, that was good year. Oh, Christine uh, was a good Christine, one. Christine, an old like um, Cadillac, maybe. Uh, I feel what like I've car? seen parts of that movie, but uh, no, 1958 Plymouth Fury. <laughs> Christine, why does that yeah. sound so familiar? Yeah, yeah, that was a that was a classic, really cool sure. car. Yeah. Um, and then number one, Scarface. Oh yeah, Scarface. Mm-hmm. Now I have to say you missed you missed a few. Cujo. Uh, no, I did not. No, nope. Cujo nope. was a nope. classic. Mr. No, Mom. that that gave me nightmares. Mr. What Mom, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Mom was the movie. Oh, <laughs> that was a that, classic. That got him the Batman role. What I about Fearless you. Hyena Two? Ah, oh, what about what? Dan? <laughs> you missed that one. Oh, James Bond, Octopussy. I don't. I never saw any of those. Any of those ones. <laughs> never. I say remember never watching again. that one. Dude, I totally do too. What about Never Say Never Again? Was that? Wait, there's two Bond movie? movies that came out in the same year. Well, yeah, one was Sean Connery. It's probably one of his last ones, and then another one was uh, yeah, uh, the other Octo- guy. The I, I think remember. the guy that had the most of them. Oh, the most. Gosh. I can't yeah. remember his name. Mark would know if he were here. I'm just gonna call him. Uh, Chad Flanagan. What about <laughs> Sounds like a Bond name? What about Risky Business? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Not my, not my top three though. I can't believe you left off Superman three. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? no. You left off a Christmas story. How dare you, sir? You'll shoot your eye out. Gross. I, don't, I know that's I don't a terrible that. movie. But it's supposed. It was to be good for the first oh. time I saw it. But then after the Wait. Four, four millionth time, no thanks. National Lampoon's Vacation. You left that off your list. Christmas Vacation is the only one that's good. I mean, to oh me, really? Me. Yeah. Wait but Wally World. What about Wally World? Yeah. No, nah. that's that's not the same. You sound Christmas like a, vacation. you're a fake. You're a fake National. Uh, that's I like that one more than Christmas Vacation. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm more of a Vegas Vacation guy. The Vegas one was also funny, but the uh, was a uh, what's his name, Pino Grigio? What is was what's they call him? <laughs> what do they call him? I, I can't remember. Ah, oh, what? What did they call him? Yes, that was it. I think that was it's it. not Pino <laughs> Grigio. It can't be. <laughs> sure, can't be. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was something stupid because he came up with a really dumb name. <laughs> My name's Deutsch Eckies. <laughs> My name's Heineken. Heineken Flanagan. There's Chad Heineken Flanagan. That was James Bond's actor's name. Chad Heineken, Heineken Flanagan. 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 Uh, uh, what about, what was your year, Ryan? 88. 1988. What a good year. You missed out on some stuff as a newborn. Papa Grigio. That's what it was. Uh, uh, Papa Grigio. Papa. Papa. <laughs> Papa, Papa Grigio. Papa Grigio. <laughs> Uh yeah, so I looked through most of my list and all of dude. them. Dude, honestly, I, I there's only like all of them. What? Be careful with your words. You have some really good classics in here. I'm sure I do, but I didn't watch any of them. Um, you didn't. <laughs> mm, all right, I'm gonna let you talk first. Go ahead. <laughs> For Sorry. me personally, Naked Gun. All right, all right. Yes. Yes. Um, in no particular order, by the way. Naked all Gun. We did not come um, in. 
well, I guess in no particular order. I like naked gun. The third naked gun was called thirty three and a third. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one. Thirty three and a third. Um, Totally remember that one. I I feel like uh, I have to put Die Hard in here because Uh, yeah, it's Die Hard. Mm -hmm. Um, but absolutely number one, the one that I watched the most, Coming to America. Oh my gosh, was that? Oh my gosh, (laughs) that movie's amazing. (laughs) Shout out to Beetlejuice. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. See, you had so many movies in 88. Wow. Yeah, was Beetlejuice. Apparently Child's Play. Who I Framed that... Roger Rad- Rabbit? I really wanted to say that one because I watched that one a lot, too. Dude, I love it. Probably not Roger as much Rabbit. as I watched Coming to America. But. Yeah. And then you Rain had, Man. You had Twins. Yeah. Short Circuit 2. Oh, unsung God. hero I, I remember the unsung i remember sequel parts of the, the short first circuit. short circuit short circuit 2 i looked at it i was like yeah this is probably there's a reason why this is down here on this list <laughs> dude as a kid i love short circuit 2 <laughs> what are you doing oh my gosh <laughs> blood sport is on here is oh it? my gosh what a what a what a year movies in 88 but then like oh what about gotta... big top peewee oh God, <laughs> no no, thank uh, you. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> yeah. What about? Come on, there's more. I know there are. What are they? Yeah, Blood Pumpkinhead. Sport. I watched also. What about Willow? I that one creeped Willow. me out. <laughs> what about the Last ten- Temptation of Christ? Wait, isn't that with? Last yeah, with uh, Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. It's hugely. It's greatly. Uh, Willow. Sacrilegious. Oh my god! I absolutely did watch this. Yeah. Right. What Ugh. kid didn't? When was Never Ending Story? I think it was like eighty four. Uh, oh, what about the Moonwalker movie when uh when Michael Jackson fights aliens? It was never ending story. It was eighty four. Um, yeah, no, no. You know where I'm from? I'm from the '80s, <laughs> son. I know where this stuff is. Uh, above the law, Steven Seagal movies. You can't go wrong with that. Oh my god! You've seen one. You've seen them all. So <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, come on. Young Guns, Emilio Estevez, Charlie Sheen. One of the best westerns. I wasn't no? really big into westerns. My dad. Was. I mean, I wasn't either. But man, that was entertaining. I love that movie. Well, I just remember watching The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly a lot with my dad. I mean, that's a little earlier, but yeah, that's fair. Oh, then we get into the weird movies once you oh, scroll yeah. over. Too yeah, far. once you go down past All 50, right. you're in. But the... I'm not mad at I'm not mad at your <laughs> list. You have a good list, but you had so much to pick from. Yeah, kind of not fair. Yeah, I mean, what, I did... what year was Mark? Let's try to predict Mark's. Uh, you guys remember what 80, year he is? 89? Is he 89? How old is he? 89 Batman? Wasn't he born? It doesn't matter. Let's do 89. He was born on Batman Day. <laughs> he was right? born on Batman Day. He was. <laughs> <laughs> so Batman. <laughs> That's going to be some of them. All right. Yeah, I mean, Batman. I don't think Ghostbusters. There's Christmas Vacation, Patrick. Uncle Buck. Field of Dreams. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. The Last Crusade. K-9. Lethal Weapon 2. Cheetah. Oh my gosh, there's so many movies. Roadhouse, Back to the Future 2. Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse. <laughs> I'm going to guess Last Crusade, Back to the Future 2, and Little Monsters with Fred Savage. <laughs> Do you remember that and, movie? Yes, Howie Mandel was the monster. Oh, the Burbs, Turner and Hooch. Driving the Burbs. The Burbs, Dead Poet Society. Dang, Marx is even better. How do people even pick their favorite movies past... 1987. <laughs> I don't know. It's impossible. There's so many good movies. UHF. I feel like Mark would like that. Who shot Pat? Ah! <laughs> oh my. Poor Patrick. Sorry. That's the that's the movie that's that's gonna come out um after I die. Is that all like right? Super young Sandra Bullock in that movie? Who shot Pat? Who shot Pat? All right, I'm ready to get back to your update, Ryan. Let's see if you I don't can go longer without getting buzzed. Like, <laughs> Nothing uh, happened in your life? Not really. Not not a whole lot. Well, uh, today, I guess. Um, 
so I guess my wife had some parent teacher conferences at the school. Oh, um, those are the best. Uh, yeah, they just actually, I'll send you the pictures of their, uh, their, their past, um, this past round of school pictures. Oh, two yeah. of them are, two of them are serviceable. Kingston, on the other hand. <laughs> oh gosh. What did he do? <laughs> yeah. Like, did he make like a weird face I, or I, did he, he smiled with his bottom teeth? Oh, the bottom, the, the, the underbite smile. Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah. It's, I'll send y'all pictures. It's hilarious. Um, was a top te- teeth smiler for she went through a phase where she's just like, yeah, uh, out. yeah, not great. However, um, oh, that's my memories, wife had man. his had Fun his to conference today, and um, homie is crushing it in math and reading. Hey, let's so go. He's in the bottom fourth grade. Smilers, you gotta watch out for him. Yeah. take over the world he's in fourth grade and we're taking teacher, over the world <laughs> <laughs> his teacher has been giving him like sixth and seventh grade math to do because that's how far ahead he is wow wait what grade is he i don't fourth. know what we're rep- okay nice <laughs> oh heck so, yeah man that's awesome so he's crushing he's it dope. in math um and then like he's doing advanced math and like reading and stuff so he's smart he is he is very smart so way to go bernice we're so glad yeah, she, she, got, she absolutely did she that gave I did her nothing. genetic code to i was good in math you. in high school but after that i just i stopped you you, you maxed out <laughs> i'm i really the did. ceiling it's like well, i did i got I a calculator like, now in my phone i'm good my senior year i didn't need to take any math credits and i took like six because that was the year that I did like physics and tutor to class and did something else. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. Then I got to, to college and was like, I'm going to be dumb. And that's what happened. Um, so yeah, that was cool. Um, that's that's really all that happened. Tonight was my men's meeting. So apologies for being late. Uh you literally came in three minutes after we I started. saw. <laughs> I still like to mostly be on time. Not, I don't want to s- steer into the stereotype of black people showing up late. So, like, Is that a thing? <laughs> yes, it's called CP really? time. <laughs> it's called what time? CP, color people, color people time. That's we do to it me. to ourselves. <laughs> we show up fashionably late to being fashionably late. I mean, so, here uh, here in Brazil, it doesn't matter your color. It's just if you're Brazilian, you're showing up late. But <laughs> it's it's not. There's no discrimination here. It's just yeah. playing up. Like ah, we're not you're, in a hurry. You show up on time. <laughs> you show up on time. You're helping set up the party. Like, yeah, they're my like, wife. Hey, can uh, you uh, help put this up? Can you? Yeah, my wife very much us? likes yeah. to get to things early and on time. Yeah, I don't care. Like, I'm like, oh, we can still show up. No. Like, if we're not like at church right when it starts, I'm like, eh, we can make oh, it. Oh no, I want to. I want to get to church on time. I'm like, if there's a party <laughs> that's make lasting it. like four hours, and I don't, I get there 15 minutes late. Oh well, there we have three and more hours that we can hang out. But <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's all right. So yeah, we were doing our men's uh meeting for our church. Like my pastor was just filling us in on. The changes that are about to happen. Um changes. So yeah, that's that's gonna be it's yeah. gonna be interesting transition. Mm-hmm. Um gaming wise, <clears throat> honestly, I besides that which shall not be named here. Mm. We'll do it like that. Good. You're learning um, which I only played that for a couple of hours and then I got off and started. I re downloaded onto my Xbox now. Uh, Flintlock, and have been. You playing told us that, that last again. week. We need a better update on Flintlock than that. Uh, I'm trying. Unless to, like, you deleted it last it. week and then downloaded <laughs> no. it again. No, I'm trying to like 100 percent it. I'm trying to get all the achievements. I don't know how many there actually are. Um, it but doesn't matter. I'm, achievements don't matter. So I want to say I'm. I just beat the first like actual boss, but I'm finding a lot more people than I did 
when I played it the first time. Like I didn't I didn't really explore a lot in the first time through. I just kind of ran straight through. Um this time mm-hmm. I'm like looking in every corner trying to get all the chests and armor and stuff that's extra. Um it's I like it. I like that game a lot actually. So I'm gonna have nice. to go back and change my score that I gave it. Um no, it's too late. It's final. It, uh, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Um, I would say I've been playing Spider Man, but I haven't because my children have been down here. All right, Patrick, how about you? What's going on? <laughs> <Like my computer. laughs> They've like in the guest slash game room, I have their computer set up here, and then the PlayStation hooked up to the TV on the wall. Who's they? every day? My children, my boys. Okay, and who's 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 the captain now? They are apparently because oh they get to be online more than I Come do. Come on, <laughs> you need to you do pull the dad cards like dad needs to rest and swing around. Yeah, in uh, New York City. Which actually, while Patrick gives his update, I'm gonna turn on my PlayStation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you choose the weirdest times to play, but you know what? <laughs> this is the only time I have. Honestly, I'm not home until like five thirty usually in the afternoon, and then I'm. Hanging out with them, getting them ready for school tomorrow, and then that's when I can game. Is after they go to bed. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it's a little mixture of everything going on in my life right now. But God is good, and all the time we'll mm-hmm. be okay. So, oh yeah, that's all I got. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, Patrick. yeah. Speaking of gaming. Um, I played a couple new games. So like the normal Fortnite, WWE, NCAA football. Still playing those games, but new games I've been yes. playing. So there's there is a new game that came out uh on PS5 uh five days ago. Ryan gave me the little skinny on this oh, new game yeah, drop in. Forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, it's called it's called Undefeated. And it was a P it was on a PC steam or something like that for a while. And it finally got ported over to PS five. And basically it is just a tech demo. It looks like a guy, one person made this game. Um, it is, it was, it is basically if you take Superman 64 and you up res it to the PlayStation five graphics and the power of PlayStation five, uh, uh, and, you give you give just a freedom to do anything fly around at so you're not superman you're just a guy in like a black shirt and black pants and sunglasses oh, yeah. um and so you're just flying around you're you're there's stones on people you got to lift them off of them there's fires you got to put out there's enemies that you got to defeat and basically that's all you got that's all there is you go and defeat defeat enemies yeah, you, you help people from underneath rocks. You continue to do the same thing over and over again. Um, and apparently there is like, you need to upgrade your superhero like four times. I played it for like, I don't know, 45 minutes. I upgraded it once. And I'm like, okay, that's about all I can do. Because there's it's the same thing over and over again. It was mm-hmm. fun. It was fun. But I'm like, man, this if a one person can create this Superman style type of game, come on. Come on, anybody else. Come on, anybody <laughs> else. I'm sure you guys can do it. Even if it's just this and it's Superman themed. I mean, come on. Superman. I will I will I will gladly pay whatever money you, uh, it costs. Um I would love all of that cuz that's really all I want to do. I just want to fly around Superman. I mean, if I want to if I want to have a good Superman movie or a or a game or a media whatever it is, I'll find it. I'll watch uh, I'll watch the uh anything you know superman one made of steel you know whatever um but give me a superman game i need one i really need one so uh but it's free it's free it's that yeah and anybody can download it it's it's you don't have to pay for anything so it's nice um cool it doesn't look like it's just one person it looks like they're a very small studio though yeah they're coming out with another one called undefeated genesis Instead of in like a little metropolis style area, it's in the I don't know wilderness. Yeah, um, 
yeah amazon forest or something like that i don't know i don't know when that's going to come out it's just it was just on the home page uh the main menu of the game it was like hey coming soon i'm like cool sweet when <laughs> It's just a trailer. When you trailer upgrade for the, your person it's, four <laughs> times. <laughs> it's a trailer for the next game before I even play the first game. I don't. I don't know. Um, so uh, played that, and then today, um, the Plucky Squire came out on PlayStation, and it's free for PlayStation Plus subscribers. And uh, I don't know if you if you've seen anything about this, but basically, you are. It's a Zelda type of game. Um, but you're in a kid's storybook and it is top down kind of like Zelda. And then there's side scrolling and then there's 3d elements uh, where you all of a sudden the, the, I guess the premise of it is there is a villain within this book that kicks you out of the book and he wants to control. He wants to control the book because he knows he has the, he has the, it's like, it's so, it's so mad. He's like, I have the book to the book that we're in and I lose every single time. Every time a, ch- a child reads this book, I lose, I lose, I lose, I lose. So he just kicks the, the protagonist, the plucky squire out of the book so he can rule over this book. Mm. And um, the it's, it's narrated really well. Um, and then, and, as as you as the uh, pages are turning, the narrator just speaks what the words are on the, on the on the book on the page, and he says like you know anytime there's a bad book, it gets put on the shelf and never gets read again. And if the plucky squire doesn't defeat this villain and get back into the book, that's where this book's gonna be. And the kid that this book's house is in and room is it is in, um, if uh, if uh, he doesn't get back and defeat the villain, this kid will lose his imagination and he won't grow up to be a good kid or something like that. Basically, what it's you what it have is. to fix your yeah. relationship. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing annoying yet about this game like that was. Oh, my Lord. Um, but yeah, it's it's really fun. It's it's crazy what, how you can you're in a 3D world. And then you can all of a sudden get into a 2D world. And it's 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 wild how it's done. Um, it kind of feels like uh, that. Uh, what was that game? The It Takes Two. It's kind of like that where okay. every, every level, every chapter has like a different mechanic. So it keeps it fresh. Um, I've gone through three chapters. I'm like, okay, this is really, really cool. Uh, I'm, I am not bored yet with this game. I think there's like 10 chapters. But it's really, really fun. Um, I'm really interested to play play more of it. But it's it's free on PlayStation um, Plus, so I highly recommend this movie or this game. Uh, Lucas, I think, and Ryan playing with your kids. This is yeah, one of the I game you can play it. with your kids. We'll definitely get to um, it sometime. Also, um, I know Ryan, your kids are a little bit younger. There is an invincibility option, so you can't I'm die in this listening. game. Yeah, uh, there is the the accessibility options are basically cheat codes. Uh, okay. it, it's it's you one hit death for enemies, uh, invincibility, um, any platform that would fall after you jump on it, as a platformer is, they mm-hmm. they don't fall, uh, so they'll stay, um, and a couple other ones. But it's they're basically cheat codes. Uh, they're not. It's I feel like that's a accessibility option is a little bit of a stretch of a term. <laughs> in the in this in this realm so uh yeah so it's really good um the other game i i played so i just bought a 2018 nissan sentra and i'm mm-hmm. like i would love to drive this game drive this car drive this in a, game? In a game. yeah drive this car in a, in a game and i'm like i wonder what kind of game and I, was, I was looking around not forza um there wasn't what other ones were there I was looking for grid I was, any 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 like grand free turismo? game no I, I i maybe grand turismo um i don't think it well, i don't think it, it was in there uh, the only hit that i got was forza motorsport and so i, I was like <laughs> all right 
Let's 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 turn it on. I turned it on, and you start off with fifty thousand dollars and a Nissan Sentra. It's the the Nismo, I guess. It's the street racing car. Whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Nismo. Yeah. It, it was only it was only thirty five thousand, so I I just bought it, and I was just driving around with my Nissan Sentra in a video game. So that was kind of cool. So now I'm <laughs> I'm kind of hooked on Forza Motorsport now. So I've I've All gone right. through the tutorial missions and now I'm in the I guess the main missions. I don't know. I don't know. I don't not I don't play a lot of racing games. So um let's see what else happened this past week. Oh, I watched a few movies. Um the worst one was called Subservience. Um it's basically about uh, an AI. So this guy his wife is sick and he need and it's in the future and his wife uh his wife's sick and he needs some help around the house with his daughter and they have this these ai uh people kind of like to trip become human they're they look real um and okay. megan fox was the was the character that was the ai help um and she gets a little too attached to uh the husband and she starts running amok. Bad movie. Don't watch it. I'm not. I'm not even going to waste any more breath on it. Don't watch it. It's a bad movie. Um, the enough. next movie. The next movie I watched was called. <laughs> the next movie. It's. It's like if The Hunger Games and Divergent had a baby. This is the type of movie it was. It is <laughs> the worst. The worst movie name there is. It was called Uglies. Oh, oh my, my gosh, God. I've seen that on Netflix and I'm like, yeah. what in the world? It's like the uglies and the pretties. And I'm like, who named yeah. this? <laughs> it's, it's, it is so like, uh, uh, I don't know what, what, what the term is. Um, but it's very on the nose, very yeah. derivative. Um, so it's, yeah. There's there's these uh, people called the uglies. And once you once you hit sixteen, then you go through this transformation, and you become pretty. Called plastic surgery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then there's these other people. They're called the Rusties, and those are the people that don't conform to either of the two. Um, I don't know people. So um, do they use like uh, like are the is their mascot Lightning McQueen? I was about Rusties. to ask. <laughs> <laughs> We're the Rusties. Rusties. <laughs> yeah, but I, 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 I watched it, and I actually, I actually enjoyed it. I mean, if yeah. I like, I like Hunger Games. I like Divergent. So it wasn't that bad. <laughs> that no, seems like, that like that seems like not just those two movies, but it's also mixed with like miscongeniality. Like I don't know, like the uglies. Is and it the a pretties. show or is it a movie? It's, it's, a, it's movie. a movie on ne- movie on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Mindy saved it to her list. Maybe I'll. I don't watch feel like that her. would be something I would want my face tied to, like on the poster, like uglies, and then my face is just blasted <laughs> on the front. Um, yeah. So it's like it's like it a trilogy of of movies. So wait, I watched this. Is a trilogy? Yeah. It's it's a trilogy. What's so the, it ended. It ended, and I was like, oh, what the heck? It just got started. What the heck? And uh, yeah, there's two more movies that are going to be coming. So. Oh, they don't. don't watch, do they have names yeah. yet? Uh, yeah, I think this next movie is called Pretties. I think I don't know. It's oh, got to be okay. Uglies, yeah. Pretties, and then Rusties. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. And that's when Lightning like, McQueen shows up. Makes, the Rusties, movie, the third movie. Yeah. Well, so I enjoyed that movie. Um, and then the best one of the bunch, uh, Rebel Ridge. And oh man, what what uh, Rebel Ridge what was. What was this on? Um, was this on? It was on. It was also on Netflix. Um, I think my brother just watched that the other night and asked me if I had watched it. Yeah, it says an ex-marine grapples his way through a web of small-town corruption when an attempt to post bail for his cousin escalates into a violent standoff with the local police chief, who is Don Johnson. Um, and the main guy uh, is um, his name is Aaron Pierre. He is like an ex-marine and he he's just riding his bike and he had was gonna go bail out his cousin and it cost it was gonna cost like thirty six thousand dollars. 
and the police were so corrupt that they took all of his money seized it all and so he goes on a a rampage uh and it is awesome it Mm. was so awesome it was 45 minutes into the movie i was like oh my gosh this this is this movie's almost over I was, and I was like, and then I paused it to go to the bathroom because I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom before the end of this movie. And I was like, oh my gosh, I still have an hour and 15 minutes left in this movie. <laughs> like, what else do they have to do? Like, it's crazy how how deep the corruption went uh, with the with the cops. So, um, yeah, it was a wild movie. Very mm-hmm. wild. Um, yeah. I I didn't give any ratings on these. Um, no, you let's didn't. see. Subservience Blackened. is an F. Subservience is an F. <laughs> um uglies c plus and rebel ridge b plus all right all right yeah good stuff um i went camping this past weekend oh i mean <laughs> yeah and that's how that's how that's how it ends Did you oh man there end with no, camping no. what's wrong with no. you oh, okay. you didn't all plan right, so this out at all me, did you let me uh, let me end it with so the wife and i still going through the cho- chosen uh season four yeah. and we got through episode seven and this is the episode where jesus brings lazarus back from the dead Spoilers. And thomas i mean he is going through some internal mm-hmm. conflict man because yeah, yeah very selfishly thinking about himself rather than what's what the greater good is and who would do such a thing no one ever does that right 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 and so um jesus crying um and feeling for thomas um and just oh man it was just such an emotional scene emotional episode so awesome it was so good um, I'm just crying out of both eyes. You know, sometimes I don't know if 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 it, for you sometimes usually it's my right eye that cries first, but this time it was both eyes. Yeah, it's, it's usually my right eye that cries first too. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm a right eye crier too. Is that like right hand, left hand, like right hand? Oh, me. Right, your eye right eye is or... more weepy than the left eye. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or if oh, it's like, man. or if it's like left brain, right brain, like when uh, something gets disorganized and you cry, it's like left brain. Oh, my left eye cries. I don't know. Is that wow. not how that works? I don't know. I'll look it up. Well, but that's it. That's it for me. I'm gonna look up what, why uh, you can cry out of one eye or whatever. I gotta say, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this because I know we got some people in our community that either aren't of uh, a personal faith in, in Jesus Christ, or uh, maybe we have people the other extreme that are like, I don't watch Christian movies, they're dumb. Uh, watch The Chosen. Whether you're a doubter, uh, whether you're doubting Thomas, r- regardless of like where your faith lies, like to learn in, to learn about Jesus in a way that is so personable and emotional and true to the Bible, like Obviously, there's added things. There's artistic freedoms and liberties they take, yeah. but they're all of them are based in the Bible, and it gives you a greater picture of Jesus. And I know for me, it just it's like a it's like a loop. Like it just loops me back. I'm like, I want to read more of the Bible, and then I read more of the Bible, and I'm like, ah, this reminds me of the Chosen. I want to watch the Chosen again, <laughs> and then like it just yeah. like Jesus is where it's at. You know, there's there's people that do religion. There are people who, you know, make it about going to church on Sundays or they make it about, you know, reading a book or believing in this God that they don't see, you know, here or whatever, like doesn't hit the five senses. But Jesus is like the center of it all. And when you have a more personal encounter with him, like that is just it's where it's at. Like that's where it all revolves around Christ. And uh, man, give Give the chosen a chance, people. If you haven't, watch it. It's free. It's like all over the place. So uh, you have to sign up, uh, put in your email address to unlock everything. That's it. Fair enough. Yeah. I think we do that for most things. So that's yeah. That's, that's what I did. That's what I did. Yeah, to watch all the episodes. They're like, hey, you need to sign up to watch these. I was like, yeah, okay, that's it. That's all I had to do. Here you go. You Here's need, my like, email, email address. Yeah, I don't get any yeah. emails from them. So. Yeah, so 
That's awesome, man. Agreed. That was a much um, better hey, way to end it than camping. Sorry. Uh, okay. So, so oh. according to Google, okay. um, there is no difference between tears produced from one eye or the other, whichever one tears up first. However, oh, it's a race. So, however, like your left eye and right eye is like, who's going to be first? It's me. If one eye waters more than the other, it could be due to a number of possible possible reasons, including blocked tear duct, eye injury, uh -oh. allergies or infections, impaired glands, obstructed tear drainage system, and <laughs> reflex tearing, dry eyes. I mean, it was just like all of it's bad. Like if you tear out of all your right. right eye first, maybe you might want to get your eyes checked. Something's wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently. You got to do a, a tear duct cleanse to get it open, open that baby up so you can cry out of both eyeballs. I guess. All right. Well, thanks for the update, sir, on your. You're welcome. Your tearied right eye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. So uh, for Lucas. me. Yes. Hi. How about you? How about you? Let's talk about me for a second. Yeah. Shall we? Uh, I just want to lead off the bat and say, Happy birthday to Hades. Happy birthday to Hades. You've turned four years old today. Happy birthday to Hades, the game. Four years? Four years old. Came out in since, 2020. Since in September, in early, on early September. access? Nope. This was this was after two years of early access. They did early access from 2018 to 2018. 20, yeah. And then they this is 1.0. This is the PC release. I'm counting it because it's Hades, but for me, the real release is a year later, I think in August 2021, when it came to PlayStation 4. Um, but yeah, September 17th, 2020 was when Hades was released on PC 1.0. Uh, yeah, so to honor Hades and also because I have coworkers that are playing Hades and uh, we've had chats from time to time and they're dragging their feet a little bit. And I'm like, you guys are taking your sweet old time with this. I'm going to enter into the fray. And we wound up making a pizza bet. Whoever finishes the game first, all 10 runs and rolls credits, the, the other two buy them a pizza. So... Let's see what happens. They have a head start, so they should be able to do it if they get if they're dedicated enough. Wait, hold on. So they do, do they get two pizzas, or do no? They go we, the, on one. the two people that you know, quote unquote, lose, they buy the pizza and then we eat the pizza together. So oh, nobody so really they, loses. We just how many runs have they gotten through? Well, one guy's at nine runs, but he's been at nine runs forever. And and here's the here's the extra thing: oh, the two on, guys. Man made this agreement that they have to do the 10th run at uh 32 heat. So, Oh my gosh, for real. Yeah. I don't know what that means. So that, that makes my chances much better. It's just, it's more difficulty. So yeah. you know, like you like set up these, uh, what it's like games modifiers have. that, yeah, that modifiers. Are this makes yeah. it make harder. Yeah. 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 And so they agreed that they have to do it on 32. So, so do you get a my, trophy to to do it on thirty two eat? I can't remember because I think okay, I think not. I think you have to do sixteen. But you don't have to do thirty two. Uh, I can't remember how. What was the highest heat I've I've done? I actually tried to download it on to uh, Xbox because I wanted to get like just pop some achievements while I was doing it because I have a hundred percent on PS four and PS five. But the gift card I got was for Brazil only. And so I have zero monies. And then when I went over to the American side of things, it's more expensive than it is in Brazil. And I just wasn't feeling the, I didn't want to, it was full price. I'm like, I'm pretty sure this was on game pass at some point, but it was, but once they, you know, dropped it, then it's back to normal price. But I wasn't about to, I wasn't feeling the, I just bought Astrobot a week ago. So I don't, I don't, I wasn't feeling the full price. Was it on PlayStation? Uh, yeah, no, I have it on PlayStation. Anywhere? It right. was just okay, yeah, so okay. yeah. I'm just gonna replay it on PlayStation. I just was I was trying to do Xbox so I could say I beat it on PS4, PS5, and Xbox. But gotcha. it's all good. It's I just pulled it up. Play. 
And um, there's not a trophy for 32 heat. Um, 16 heat for for a trophy, but 32 yep. heat is like the third of the Skelly prizes, and I definitely did that. So yeah, um, I don't yeah, I don't think I ever wanted. To do yeah, I remember us doing it, but I do, yeah, I do also remember that it didn't have a. It was it was optional. Yeah. I think the highest I did was 50, maybe 45 or 50. So 32 is manageable. Once I now I will say I did so. What I'm pretty much going to do is I'm just going to do one run a day unless I get maybe on Saturdays I'll do a couple. But uh, I think I lasted like five chambers. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I'm rusty. Yeah, uh, so yeah. I was like dancing around. I was really good after 50 hours of playing oh, it. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, on, it on PS5 I have 96 hours, so I'm going to cross over. 100 oh, there wow. dang that's and a lot ps4 i have a lot i think i have 300 on ps4 oh man i think i'll have like maybe 80 i played a bunch if you remember yeah. like before marvel snap like hades was my i'm just still playing it i'm like i've done everything but i'm just still playing it yeah so i have zero i mean destiny 2 yeah <laughs> it makes it's sense. my it's my number one game of all time as is it is for me I too. Think, I think it behooves you I'd, to lose. I'd add it that. to your list, Ryan, but I don't even want to waste my breath. So <laughs> you just stick with Spider Man when you can get to it. Yeah. When your kids aren't hogging the room, the game room. Every day when I come home from school, little trolls get out of there. <laughs> every day. Every, every day. Gosh, you walk in, you're like, ugh. I've walked past the room to go to my room so I can change, and they're like in here. Hey, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Um, in real life, uh, so do you guys remember we've had a critter off and on in our ceiling? Like Did it finally die? Uh, I wish. So, a- as of so, I think over the course of the years we've been here, it's varied in what it is. Like sometimes I think we had a uh, possum in there. And then sometimes I think we had a bat, like bats in there. And uh, lately it's been a cat. And so uh, the cat has been the main animal that's been in our roof slash ceiling um, in between those areas. And um, I think some time ago, the landlord and his handyman and some people, they tried to seal it up. I think I told you guys about that. Well, within a less than a day, it got in, and it's <laughs> it's been loud, it's been obnoxious, it's thumping around, running everywhere, moving things around, being an idiot. Uh, I did get my friend's airsoft gun, a uh, little airsoft pistol to kind of, you know, give a little scare or something when I could see it. But unfortunately, it like knew that I had the gun, and so it stopped showing up outside. Um, but today. No, yesterday uh, we got up, getting the kids ready for school, doing a few different things. I had to be at school a little earlier because I was in charge of devotions at school. And about, I'd say, three or four minutes before we're going to leave, Mindy yells from upstairs, hey, there's a leak. And I'm like, a leak? What? It's it's like, what's running? Something running? Like, who's running? Is running water? Like, I don't understand. What do you mean a leak? She's like, just come upstairs, bring some towels. I bring up towels, and there's water, was quote unquote, water dripping from the ceiling, except it's not water. I get it's, closer, mm. it is it is urine. It is cat urine from the ceiling falling into our bathroom sink. And at least like it fell in the sink. The sink. And it, no, it, it fell along the walls, it fell on no. the sink, it hit some of it, hit the toilet. Uh, it was disgusting. And I was just like, I just threw towels over stuff and just backed up and said, I'm dealing with this later. So the cat definitely peed its pants. Uh, it was raining outside. And I, the last, so this has only happened once before. And it happened in the middle of our, an open part of our living room where there's no furniture. Thank the Lord. If so, help me if this thing pees over my couch. I'm going to, I already told Mindy that I wanted it instead of the airsoft gun, I wanted a shotgun and like, you know, in the movies where they're trying to shoot somebody crawling through the ceiling. Like, I just wanted to be that villain. It's just like (laughs) until that thing like dies. 
I kind of figured you'd be more like Rambo and just put a knife in your teeth. And just well, that's that's an alternative too, and just like crawl up in you, there, crawl up in there, and be like, "You're going, I'm gonna kill you." I'm good at you today. Yeah. So, yeah. Later after school, I definitely did some uh, little light, you know, cleaning of the bathroom. Uh, it wasn't as bad once it all dried up, but when it was like dripping down wet, you could smell it. How it much was... does this cat pee, man? <laughs> I mean, it it peed enough. It's it just it was gross, and uh, yeah, cat pee is the worst smell probably of all time. Green Earth. Yes, it's up there. I will say is, that uh, top top. It's got to be top five smells there, of all time. There's some yeah. foods. That when they rot, they will, will they worse than worse than cat pee? Yeah. Like what? Like what? Uh, black beans, like beans when they black. when they go bad, they get like a film of penicillin bacteria. Yes, they do. They do. And yeah, it, yeah. It makes me want to vomit. We don't have black beans in the house. We never have black beans. So oh, I don't black know, beans I don't know, know. what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I don't want to put black beans. I'm just like, all right, let's go. Let's do a science experiment, guys. Yeah, let's just get a can of black, black beans. beans on the on the windowsill right here. Let's come back in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's the best when you you put it in a container. You put it in the back of your refrigerator, and then it grows. And then a, you forget a about flower. it. And then you <laughs> you find it later, and then you're like, oh, what's this? And you open it up, and you're like, oh, <laughs> like you just, oh my gosh, it's a terrible oh, no. smell. That has so definitely bad. happened. So right. bad. What else? What else is yeah. Mark's not here, so we can go. We can keep. Oh, going. that's true. We can. <laughs> um, what else is a bad smell? Uh, I don't know if you've ever smelled a a rotting carcass of an animal that's been embalmed by like bug bomb, and it's it's in the middle of like nah, the summer, it's and it's that's been fine. cooking in the roof. No, it's not fine. Because have you, have you smelled fine. it? Yeah, that's fine. No, They're that's fine. sorry. Urine, urine has nothing on rotting carcass of a of a. Yeah, some death cook. death smell is a uh, death smell is pretty. Oh, bad. Mark can't hear us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark's it's because you it's because you told him we were almost done, which is a lie. Because <laughs> we're close. We're close. No, Run we're not. Away, we Mark. still have the joiners. I know, but yeah, he said yeah, let he us know when we're getting yeah. close to the joiners. Oh, he's going to join us for the joiners. No, he's going to flip the screen for us. He's the magic man oh, tonight. Oh, he's flipped the screen. <laughs> I'm so glad we talked about gross Mark, smells. Just Patrick, kick, did you know Lucas when you were egging me on? Because I did not. I did not know either. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> he's saying good night. He's not even here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Mark, I'm so sorry. And yet, uh, I'm kind of not. It makes me kind of laugh. Anyways, I love you, man. All right, let's move it on from the nasty smells. We'll All come right, back to, so... we'll come back next week. We'll come we'll back, come back everyone, to that. Everyone, bring your nasty smells. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> rank bring your nasty, nasty smells. Smell? Ew. Rank, rank, and we'll rank them. <laughs> we'll rank the nasty smells. Okay. I kind of, uh, I kind of think Mark's not going to show up next week. He's yeah, going to yeah. be like, uh, "Where is Mark? Has anyone seen him?" <laughs> <laughs> I brought my nasty smell. Um. All right. So I'm going to end on a high note because. I don't want it when cat pee or funky Pompeii smells. Pompeii you know. Pompeii pee? Pompeii pee tax. Uh, so I gave you guys game life. I gave you factual real life. Uh, how about God life? Um, so I went on a run on Sunday, I think. And I needed it. We hadn't gone grocery shopping yet, so I needed to go get some breakfast foods. So I went to our local uh, bakery deli. And I got some pão de queijo, some cheese mm. bread. Mm. Uh, I got some Sonyu pastries, which is dream. Sonyu is dream. Uh, it's pretty much like a donut ball, I like is like large, like the softball size. And then they slice it down the middle, and they put like like a, 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 a like a yellow cream sauce. Uh, I don't know what to like a pastry mm. cream. They fill that it. Sounds good. They fill it up and then they sprinkle some, uh, what's that, powdered sugar on it. So I got a few of those. They're big enough to where we can just cut those in half. I got those. And then I was like, you know what? We got some ham and cheese. I'm going to get some eggs. We need to fry some eggs and slap that together. Mm -hmm. So I got some eggs. I got 10 eggs, which is weird. Usually it's a dozen eggs, but there's only 10 in this pack. So 
Uh, Somebody took two and put them in their pockets. <laughs> right. Um, so I, I, and I did this running home. Like I ran to the, the deli, got this, the bakery, got the stuff and then ran home. On my run home, I stopped and talked to my friend Ozmad. He was watching them play soccer every Sunday in the morning. Uh, in our community, there's a bunch of people that play soccer. Um, and so I talked to Osmar for a little bit. And then I ran by the gate guy, Ailton, and I was thinking about talking to him. And then I just felt like I felt in my spirit this God impressing upon me not to talk to Ailton. I was like, really? You think, I'm, okay, all right, I'm not going to talk to him. And it was almost, it was like this, not yet. I'm like, okay, not yet. I get in the house. I unpack my stuff, uh, you know, get out all the, the breakfast foods, and I'm going to fry the eggs. I open up the carton. I reach down to pick up an egg. I can't pick it up. It's stuck inside the carton. And I'm like, what, what is happening? So I try to do the little wiggle, and then I do a little squeeze to pick it up. And, and apparently, I'm stronger than I realize. And I just <laughs> totally, like, just squish the egg in half. And so yolk everywhere. And I'm like, well, I got nine eggs, okay? I test all the other eggs, man, and probably six or seven of the eggs were all stuck or cracked. Oh, no. Like, they had cracked from for whatever reason, and the yolk had, like, leaked down, and then leaked they down, were, like, and, yeah. and no. dried up. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm like, well, th- these eggs are no bueno. So I, I, I closed the lid, and I literally ran back to the bakery, and I was like, guys, listen, you gave me a bad batch of eggs. I need new eggs. And they're like, okay. And they switched them out. It was cool. I was like, cool. Usually that's not how customer service works in Brazil. Speaking, <laughs> you know, honestly, the customer is rarely right. Usually we're <laughs> wrong. Or or it's not even that we're wrong. It's just like, hey, let's just call it even. That's how they say. Like, you didn't get what you wanted. We're going to let you just still have it. And then you can buy something else if you want it. Like, that's how they do customer service here. They don't give you free stuff most of the time. It's really weird. Or they're like, well, that's not what you asked for. Like they kind of find try to find a loophole. It's really strange. So this was cool that they were like, hey, here, have these new eggs that I tested. They were all clear and good. So I'm running back with the eggs. And Ailton's left the guard tower, like not the guard tower. He's not like a guard. But he leaves his gate station and he's walking down the street. And then I then all of a sudden I feel in my spirit again, talk to Ailton. And Ailton's walking with a kid next to him. And, and so I run by them and I say, Hey, good morning. How are you? We, you know, Ailton and I catch up. I try to talk to him like every other run or from time to time when I see him. And, uh, I talk to the, I, I meet the kid that's walking with him and I'll be honest. I, I asked the kid's name like twice and I still can't remember what it was. <laughs> it was like Danny Leeson, like Danny Leeson. It was, it was pronounced a little strange. I needed him to write it out. To... Liam Neeson. Got it. Yes. We'll just call him Liam Neeson. Li- Liam Neeson. <laughs> little Liam was walking with Ailton and uh, just talking with him, shooting the breeze, seeing how their day was going, see how life is. Um, but then not like I kind of stopped there. I was just like, well, I just wanted to say hi, see how you're doing. And th- that was that was it or so I thought. I started to run away, not run away, like they were chasing me. I started to walk away, and Ailton's like, wait, Lucas, how's your dad doing? And I was like, oh, right. I told you about my dad, and I haven't given you an update. Um, I don't even know if I've updated you guys here on my dad. I know I've talked to people in the Good Morning, like not in the Good Morning guys, in the God and Gaming group, I think. Maybe not. I don't, I don't remember. So my dad has myeloma which is a form of uh, cancer of the plasma cells. Mm -hmm. And he had gotten like a CAT scan and he had gotten a bone marrow test, like just to see at what stage he was at. And he's like, I think he's like at stage half. Like he's got the lowest uh, stage possible almost. It's very concentrated in one area of his body uh, and his gut, he said. And so he's still going to have to do radiation, but the doctors are very hopeful. They feel like he's he's, caught it at an early enough stage. They caught it really early. So it's been kind of tough to kind of get the news that he has cancer. But at the same time, like at every step, it's like God reminding us that he's got it under control. It's good. My dad's had a positive attitude the whole time. But Ailton asked that, and it just, 
it really hit me like one when I'm like going to talk to this guy or anybody, I'm looking to how can I like witness or how can I share Christ with them? How can I encourage them? And in this moment, he very quickly encouraged me and he just asked how my dad was doing. Like he thought of it on his own. He cared enough to remember that I had told him months before about my dad. And he said, yeah, I told my mom and my mom's been praying with her church since you told me. And so I was very, I was just moved. Like I was very encouraged. And then after that, I was like, can I pray for you? And little Liam, Liam, Liam Nielsen, Leslie Nielsen, can I pray for you guys? And so I prayed with them and encouraged them. And we just, we both kind of left that, that time together, just very, I think, mutually encouraged. So it was a, it was a really cool time. And just, it's one of those times where I just feel like God's like, this is what it's all about. Not about converting people or saying, you need to follow Jesus. It's about loving people. It's about meeting them where they are and allowing Jesus to do the, do the work. Like, Heavy lifting. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it was a, it was a really cool God moment for me. So no, that, yeah. that is, it's really nice. It's really nice when, yeah. people, when stuff like that happens where people remember stuff that, that means something to you. Yeah. And so yeah, it's awesome. Yep. Yep. So yeah, that was the God life and that's the end of my updates. So how about them there joiners? How about you? You want to share with us what's new in your neck of the woods? Look at the magic happening right now. <laughs> then let's do some quick housekeeping, shall we? Where we offer you Thanks, cows, Mark, for the best. Hellos, topped with Andy's candies and tip you off to how you can connect with the GMGO on Twitter, Discord, Facebook, and Instagram. You can share what's new with you just like Kevin on the Gamer Parents podcast did. He said, looks like I got to go first this week. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You get 100 Jesus dollars for being the first one to um, write in. Send it. Yep. Wire it now. Wire it now. It's, it's already been wired. Once you say nice. it by faith, yes. it goes. Uh, but you can't cash it in until you get to the pearly gates until you get to heaven. So just Yeah, so they're, you know, they're you... not redeemable here on earth. No, so. no, no, no. That's not how it works. <laughs> Uh, all right, Earl. It's my daughter's he, birthday. Today. He shows up to the pearly gates with his Jesus dollars. He's like, "Uh, you can get a spinning top. <laughs> oh, get yeah, it's like bubble gum. Exactly <laughs> like the, the arcade prizes. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. If you go get forty hundred more of these, you can get this candy bear, this yeah. Jesus stuffed animal. Yeah." <laughs> Oh, oh that you don't have enough. There's Tootsie Rolls for you. Oh man, I can only get I can only get half a loaf and half yep. a fish. I don't have enough for <laughs> the, the full. You don't have enough for the full two fish, five loaves meal. Yeah, no, I didn't have enough. <laughs> Not enough Jesus dollars. Uh, um, all right, <laughs> back on track. In real life, uh, it's my daughter's birthday today, and it was my son's birthday yesterday. And this last Saturday, we threw a big birthday party with all their friends at an indoor jungle gym type place. Happy birthday, daughter yes. and son of Kevin. Yeah. Kevin birthday. Jr. Happy and birthday. Kavina. No, wait. Kavina. It's not Kavina. It's Kevin Jr. And, uh, oh my gosh, please forgive me, Kevin and wife of Kevin. Joanne. What's her name? Joanne. Joanne. Joanne Jr. Kevin Jr. and Joanne Jr. Gosh, my brain. I have a terrible memory. Anyways, so yeah, Kevin Jr. and Joanne Jr. had a big birthday party with all their friends. Uh, Pirate and mermaid theme. Each year, I am quickly reminded why we don't do birthday parties at home with three to six-year-olds and let them go crazy somewhere else. Yes, always somewhere else. Never Always, always somewhere else. Uh, We're also getting ready to go to California. California on vacation next week and i'll get to see my six-month-old nephew for the first time which i'm really looking forward to that's cool good stuff uh if all playing through the elden ring dlc using the co-op mode which has been both difficult and extremely glitchy which is fine when glitches are in our favor but frustrating when they are not that makes sense Mm -hmm. yeah the co-op the co-op can be helpful and then sometimes not i felt like in vampire survivors with james like I was like, this is fun to try to survive with uh, someone else, but you like have to share the resources and the. Ooh, it's yeah. also not a. Up, up as fast. It's not a mode. It's a mod. 
Um, yeah, that's true. Oh because, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Elden Ring does not do co-op mode. Like oh, somebody made co-op a mod, mod where you can yeah. play co-op though. Mm. So I don't know how that works. That might be why it's so glitchy. That's that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, you notice people aren't really catching on to the in-game life and religious life and in factual life. I'm a little sad that it hasn't caught on. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right, next up, Pizza Destroyer, a. a Ron Earl finished my intro to QuickBooks Online course last month, last nice. week, week. Uh, applying for jobs now. Also went to the monthly local happy hour and ate an entire thin crust pizza on Thursday. Look at that. That's too, that's too crust, trophy though. deserving. Too that's, trophy deserving. Yeah. That's, Don't that's belittle not. his pizza eating. Ooh, no, but I'm saying it's a thin crust. crust. It's very yeah. easy to eat an entire thin crust pizza. Sure, and then sure then he ate another pizza over the weekend. Oh. Somehow, still a couple of pounds lighter than I was a month ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's yeah. that thin crust, man. It's like the it, new like, diet. Uh, yeah, like Ryan said, thin yeah. crust all the way. Thin crust. All right, Ifl, buckle up. I did end up going to see the Killers game this past Saturday. If you're not a kid or content sensitive, it was pretty entertaining. Basic concept is this: John Wick, but if it took itself far less seriously. Both movies were produced by the same studio and it straight up lifts certain characters and story tropes from Wick and drops them into a romantic comedy. And it somehow works. Dave Bautista does well in the lead role, even though it wasn't originally written with him in mind. Apparently this movie's been in development purgatory for years with Wesley Snipes, Jason Statham, and Michael Keaton. Wow. Tender for the lead role at different points. Those are three very entirely Whoa, different those are very types different. of actors and people and oh, wow. ages. <laughs> right. like, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, Palm Klemfer actually plays the main antagonist. Who's that? Mark? Palm. Who is that? Message us. Palm? Palm Klemfer. Palm? Palm. His name's Palm. Um, yeah, Palm. Mantis from Guardians. Oh, he's, you can see it right now. It's happening oh, right now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mantis from right Guardians now. of the Galaxy. Yeah, that's right. I think he told me that last time I tried to pronounce the name. People, yeah. put it in parentheses, okay? Something that everybody knows. <laughs> All right. Actually plays the main antagonist. Listening to her listening to her threaten murder, threaten murder in the same voice she uses for Mantis is inherently hilarious. There she? Listening to her. Is Mantis a she? Oh, yeah, it's Mantis. Right, Mantis. What am I thinking? I don't know. What are you thinking? Uh, I don't want to talk about it. No, I was thinking, wait, who's the... Who's the... Oh, my gosh. What is the the Aquaman? What's the Aquaman with the buggy-eyed guy that's really... Why would I think Palm's a man's name? Uh, Man Ray? No way. Yeah, Man Ray. I was totally thinking of Man (laughs) Ray instead of Mantis. (laughs) Wow. Okay. She basically six a rogue is a galaxy. Galaxy. Gosh. I'm just falling apart. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, Rogue's gallery of assassins on Bautista's character, and they all have gimmicks that actually make them much more memorable than the long list of faceless goons Wick crosses off. Korean K pop star, uh, Stan, martial artist, murderous Spaniard flamenco dancers. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Cruz and his idiot sidekick. Fun popcorn film, all parts considered. Although, if you're a fan of the Wick series, it's hard to unsee some obvious derivatives. Seven and a half out of ten. Healing neck pops. Interesting. <laughs> all right. Man, only uh, seven also, and a half out of ten? Based on his description, it felt like it was like a nine. Right? Well, maybe he's doing like the full ten scale. And so like a bad movie is like a four or a three. So seven is better. I don't know. This is why we do A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah. All right. Also, I ran credits and Has anyone post ever game. given anything at E? No, that's not <laughs> real. But making up stuff. Uh, on Nexomon, and it started its sequel, Nexomon Extinction. I'm really glad I did them in that order, too. Well, yeah, because it's a sequel. Anyways. It's not required for story purposes, but it's definitely a case where the refinements and balancing in the second installment would have made it difficult to then go back and try and get through the first one. Yeah. That makes sense. All right. All right. Mm. 
Uh, and sorry, Aaron, I don't even know what Nexomon means, so I can't really comment on that. It's like Digimon, but the next version of it. <laughs> like the next version of it? I don't know. Oh, well, that was a good, that was a good one. I believe you. <laughs> I believe <Yeah>. you. <laughs> I totally believe you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Mark gave shrug shoulders. He's not sure, but that's that happens. Yeah. All right. Next, I will next. Google it while, we're, <laughs> while you're reading about the watch track. it. Watch it be exactly that. If yeah. it is, I'm gonna be it's super Digimon, mad. but the next Digimon. All right, Timmy P. Ifl finish the main story in Mafia Two. Now going through the DLC, kind of is. Jimmy's vendetta and Joe's adventures. Honestly, I'm getting bored quickly. Think Tim, one or... I, I I did not do the DLC. I saw that stuff, and I'll, I remember playing that back in the day. No good. No, you don't have to play this. You don't just just stop. Just yeah. play something else. Don't don't. If you're getting play... bored, then just just stop. Play what's fun. Yeah, uh, but he says he's going to give it one or two more sessions. Then I'll move on to either Jedi Survivor or maybe I'll dust off the PS5 and play something there. Yes, dust off the PS5. It misses you. Jedi Survivor, play it really good. Uh, Nexomon looks like a Pokemon ripoff, it which is not Digimon does. a Pokemon ripoff? Uh, kind of, yeah. I mean, they kinda. all ripped each other off they some all, way or another. This sounds like a very violent movie. Everybody's ripping each other off. All right. Ripping faces. Yep. Uh, Earl, dad's shop sale is officially done. I finally get my weekends back to work on my own stuff. The moral of the story is purging now and then is a good thing. Holy cow. He had so much stuff, including a homemade mini tractor dad made from an old lawnmower frame powered by a diesel engine out of a reefer unit. It's danger on wheels. Of course, I bought it. Smiling emoji. <laughs> uh, all for now. Love you. Love love from your favorite Idowin. Yes, we love you too. Oh, almost forgot. We discovered only bunt cakes in Omaha, and their mini cakes are incredible. Find one. Your waistline will not thank you. Mm. Only bunt cakes or nothing bunt cakes? What I say. He wrote only, and you said only, but I'm wondering if he's it- talking about nothing bunt cakes. Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, only because... bunt cake sounds like a place. Yeah, like what's it's all capitalized. So... Yeah, we have nothing but I... nothing bunt cakes. I think that's clever, very clever name. Yeah, yeah, that's. Mark I'm, I'm uh, gonna guess that it's that or it's something extremely similar to that, and they are freaking delicious. Yep. So yes, are your they? waistline will not thank you, but your stomach will be like yes. Please more. <laughs> I don't know. I think my waistline thanks me as long as I don't wear jeans, because jeans have no give. And once I put the <laughs> jeans on, then then the waist is like no. I bet thank you wear you. like tight jeans too for no reason. <laughs> Actually, I found jeans stretchy jeans here in Brazil, and they're amazing. Yeah, like they stretch like at least four sizes. Like I put them on, and they're just like. Rrrr. Now I'm running that's all the awesome. time, so I don't actually need them. But please, ru- t- I might please today. tell me you're running jeans. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, that's terrible. <laughs> what a terrible idea! Why would you say that? I would love to see you run in jeans. <laughs> running in jeans? No, you know what? I'm going to run in jorts. Uh, that makes it even better. Ripped jorts. No shirt. No, no shirt. shirt. Just, just ripped jorts. jorts. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have the tube socks on. David yep. Hasselhoff. Tube socks. Yeah. Your New Balance. <laughs> yep. And, uh, and, and also, my beard's still growing strong. You can't see it because yeah. of my microphone, but no, I see it, man. It's nice. It's very Just, nice. You can't miss shape. it. You can't. You can't no, miss you it. Can't. The Amish is strong in me. So, all right. Well, uh, if you're not a fan of you know updating us on your life, you're you're missing out. We're missing out, actually. We want to know yeah, yeah. what's good. Yeah, you're not missing out. You're just you're we holding want out. We want to know on everything us. about you. Yeah, we want to know all the dirty details. You have other ways, though, to you know connect with us. You can be visually, you can be spectatorly. There is YouTube and Twitch. We have a plethora of other joiners who stream. You can find the links in Discord or and check them out. Uh, finally, on Patreon and our merch page, you can support and gear up with us. Get yourself some. Some new 
clothing, stretchy jeans, some G and G stretchy. Oh, that's not real. Mark, never mind. That, I don't want to make any promises. Add that to the store. Ooh, stretchy jeans. Yes. But you never know. Click that one link to rule them all to keep updated, either in the show notes or you can type it out real quick, linktree.com slash the GMG pod. Of course, if you can't you toss your attention or a coin to your podcasters, but are still the giving type, please rate and review us on Apple Podcasts, Podchaser, and Spotify. It helps us reach new joiners through stars, exclamation marks, and your feedback. It really doesn't make any difference anymore because I don't remember the last time we got a, uh, a rating or review. So uh, The last one was Tim Pollan. A couple times, I think. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Timmy. Speaking of Tim Pollan, he also he likes to let his voice be heard. You can too, literally, at 929 GMG Guys. Give us a call. We will listen and laugh along with you. Can you only yeah. call that number or can you text it? I never asked that. I mean, I think you have to call it. I don't know. I've never 929. tried. Oh. You gonna try to text us? What's what's what GMG happens? guys? Now it'd be awesome if you can what if is, you could text yeah. and it did like a type two voice, like if it did a text to voice. Hello, uh, it's me again. <laughs> I hope you are well. GMG is gonna be four six four four. This is riveting podcasting, by the way. Eight, yeah, it's like you're nine, doing that. Carry seven. the niner. Wait, four eight nine seven. Yeah. All right. I'm just texting. I'm just see what happens. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Joiners, I hope um, you're enjoying this. No, no, no. no. Good eat. I, I did not get a uh, a bounce back or anything. No idea. Let's take a look. All Let's take a look at the, righty, then. Look at the email. <laughs> no. Wait. Yes, we get we can get text messages from Ryan. that. Let's go. Yeah, we have to read them still, don't we? Yes. You know what? If you guys text 929GMG guys, I'll read it all in the text to voice. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> Hello. This At is least Tim one Holland. person, please. Please. I'll read whatever you text type. Text or call. Whatever you text, I will read it in the text to voice, impersonation voice. So. <sighs> All righty then, Pat, Ryan, the <laughs> ghost of that guy that clicked stuff and made screens pop up. Mark, I love you. Along with you, our beloved friends, there he is, family and joiners. Go get your good morning this week, and may God bless and guide your lives as you live, as you work, and as you game. One, two, three, four.